Everybody loves Wikipedia. And I get it. I Really, I do. You can find anything in Wikipedia. Literally, just about anything. I have students come into my office all the time, ask me stuff that I got no clue because I'm a liberal arts librarian that works at a technical school. And I look for it in Wikipedia and I find it. And then I go look for it in the databases, which we'll talk about in a minute. And I like Wikipedia. Don't get me wrong. The problem is Wikipedia is just not a good scholarly tool here. You know what? Wikipedia can tell it to you better than I can. Pick a language that you speak. I'm going to click on English because that is the main language I speak. So if I scroll down to the very bottom of this page, very, very bottom, in the very teeny, teeny, tiny print right here, it says disclaimers. If you click on that, it tells you flat out it makes no guarantee of validity. It has no formal peer review. The first line means that the information that is presented in Wikipedia may not be correct or valid. Hence the validity statement. No formal peer review, just... Oh my god, that sucked. No formal peer review just means that none of the information here has gone through the committee process of peer review. No other scholars have looked at this information and said on the record, yes, it's good. That process is what makes scholarly information scholarly. You have to have a committee looking at that information, a committee of either specialists in that field or librarians that are specializing in that field that look at that information and say, yes, it's good. Without all that stuff, you know, for peer, no, no. Mm -mm. Not going to happen. And that's why the key word here is no. There's also, and I want to point this out because I think this is very important. If you click on the risk disclaimer, use Wikipedia at your own risk. Please be aware that any information you may find in Wikipedia may be inaccurate, misleading, dangerous, addictive, unethical, or illegal. Addictive, really? Like, you just can't get enough of it? Like, oh my god, this crack is so tasty, I must have more. No, dude. It's Wikipedia. It, no. Having said all that, I mean, I could go on and on and on about how Wikipedia is not a scholarly source. For Southern Polytechnic State University, let me just go ahead and say as a blanket statement, if you cite Wikipedia in a paper or a speech for just about every professor on this campus, it will be marked wrong. Now, it's a double whammy because you get the citation incorrect because you can't cite Wikipedia and the information that's attached to that citation is now incorrect. So you're getting nailed for twice the number of points that you would normally get nailed for. Second, there are at least, at my last count, three professors that I have personally spoken to that have said if they find a Wikipedia citation in a paper or speech or project or whatever, they won't just mark the citation wrong, they'll give you a zero on the project. Your next question is probably, well, who? And of course, I'm not going to tell you because that would ruin the game, which you all just lost. Congratulations. So using Wikipedia on this campus specifically, not a good idea, at least not for citing. You, you cannot cite Wikipedia on this campus without there being some kind of consequence to that. When you are using Wikipedia, be smart. Pull what you need, go look it up in our database, in our Galileo database or in our uh, home database, and find actual scholarly content you can use Use that and cite that. Do not cite Wikipedia. Not unless you're looking for a zero.